Uh, there for the Panthers yeah. back in 94. He's got the da da tattoo. He gives, you the, on, don't you? gives <laughs> you the finger and away you go. Now, what's the true story behind how this unfolded? It has been debated for quite a long time. <laughs> I've got no idea what he was talking about. So I, no idea. No idea. Can you get sent off? I know the coach could get sent off. Well, they stopped, they stopped coaches from sitting on the sideline after that. Oh. So send you off for that track a, suit, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the track suit wasn't good, but I didn't expect to be on TV. I, I, didn't, I didn't think they'd have the TV there, you know. Yeah, Billy sent me off. All right, well, let's bring in the man himself, uh, the one, the only, uh, Bill Hollywood Harrigan, who joins us. Oh, oh yes. yeah. we, <laughs> What a stitch up to bring you in. G'day, Bill. Yeah, g'day, James. That's a stitch up. <laughs> That's a monumental stitch up. Uh, do you remember that moment well with Gus on the sideline? I remember it well. It was down at Shark Park, and I could hear someone yelling out, and there was a few expletives. And then I said to my um, touch judge, Keithy Gee, Who's that yelling out? And he said, it's the coach, the Penrith coach. I said, who's he yelling out at? And he said, you. And then I gave a penalty. And then I hear this, no, we don't want it. We don't want this. And a few more expletives. Stick your penalty where it fits. And I said, is that him again speaking to me? He said, yeah, it is. And I went, well, he can go and join the punters behind the fence and he can yell out. So I said him, the, the penalty said, count was 13 nil. <laughs> yeah, and then Gus said, I'm not going anywhere. And I just said, well, if you don't go, we're not playing. Full stop. Not, yeah. not the only it's coach you had a little bit of repartee with, Bill. Um, was there a period of time where you were looking over your shoulder in regards to concrete trucks coming <laughs> over the hill on the horizon? Same place too, Sturlo, Shark Park. Um, I put Desi Hasler in the bin for repeated scrum infringements. I uh, nearly got beat, just got beat at the end of the game. And as I'm walking up the tunnel, Bobby Foot was standing there and he just said, I hope you get run over by a truck. <laughs> and then he said, I hope it's a cement truck. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't oh, wow. sound like Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about what about the relationship between you and Gordy over the years? Um, well, there was a period there in the game that we weren't getting on too well, but you now we get on really well after the after the uh, footy. But this particular one in 2000, State of Origin, um, he said that I was the worst referee than Stephen Clark, <laughs> and then I just said, "Well, you'll be going for that." And then as <laughs> as Gerd scored in the corner, he came racing over like the raging bull, and he dropped a. Uh, you are a cheating so-and-so, and, -so, and um, I said, you can go for that. Mate, I've got a couple, then, Bill. I remember Alan Can dropped me on my head one day, and you said that was a fair tackle. But then Richard Villasani had a launching headbutt, and you thought that was OK as well. Can you just clarify <laughs> that that's fair play? Yeah, back in those days, we'd just play on. <laughs> <laughs> Pick the penalty count down, play on. I must say, Freddie, they, they've got the Roosters home after that. Yeah, I think, I think it did well. What about the change uh, this week that they might be playing with one referee? What do you think about that? I don't mind it. Um, to be honest with you, I think I've, I've, I've been a bit of a fan of going back to one referee probably for the last two years. I just think the, the two model wasn't working. We weren't getting um, what we wanted out of it, the benefits out of it for the cost factor and everything. And and I just think the one referee goes back to one referee being consistent right across the park, on his 10, on his ruck speed, and the way he calls it. Having the two referees coming in all the time, it just kept changing at night. I didn't like it. Hmm. Bill, your regard as the yardstick when it comes to referees, uh, stack of games, big moments, uh, none bigger than the 99 decision that you made um, down in, in the grand final Melbourne, Sir George Illawarra. When you look back over your career, is, is there a decision that doesn't sit well with you that you made? Yeah, the, probably the one, and I got away with it, was the 89 grand final when Benny Elias took the snap field goal. It hit the crossbar, bounced back, and Gary Freeman was the first one to jump up and touch the ball. Gary was in front of him, and at the time I didn't see that because it was so quick looking at the ball uh, for the six. And by the time I realised it, Canberra had already had the ball and were running out where they should have received the penalty. So probably that one. Um, and then the, other, the only other one was probably Gus Gould, in 88, I think it was, 89, coming into my room in Perth. Um, want to take the tie off and <laughs> want to put the dukes up. Remember that one, Gus? I remember that one. I kicked the door in, I think, from memory. Yeah, oh, play Canterbury. Tell, tell us a bit more about that. Tell me this, Bill. Uh, young fellas out there that probably can't make it as a footballer or they love the game, recommending refereeing as a career, what would you say? I'd say yes if they've got... Um, the intestinal fortitude, they are strong in character and they can build up their confidence. I'd say absolutely, and the integrity a big part of it. Um, but I also like to think that they had played footy. 
I think if you've got a young bloke who's only around 12, 13, 14, picks up the whistle and then starts refereeing without really playing the game, is not going to have that package deal that when he does go down the track that he's played the game, understands, can walk in the shoes of the footy players and still be then a referee. Bill Harrigan, one of the icons of the Rugby League world. Great to catch up with you here on The Greatest. Thanks, James. Thanks, fellas. Brilliant stuff. Been a part of some huge moments over the years in the world of Rugby League. One of the